welcome once again to Tina's Tasty Treats. So on the menu today, we're going to be doing an easy classic lasagna. So I know we've all done this in the class before when we've all been here at Beach and doing the cooking, but I thought it'd be nice just to do a recap and we're gonna go over it again. So let's go over to the prep. So after our preparation, we are going to heat the oil in a frying pan. Just get it heated. It has been on for a couple of minutes, so we'll be all right. We are going to add the onion. So typically this way, so everyone can see. We're going to add the celery and the carrot. So these will take about five minutes to, to cook. I haven't got it on a like a too hot of a heat, so I've just turned it down a little bit. We don't want to burn our vegetables. So we'll leave this for um, five minutes. The, um, the onions are transparent in colour, and that's good, they're not burning. So the next stage is, we're going to add our garlic. It does say fresh, but I found some dried in the cupboard, so I thought, well, I'll use that up. So let's mix that in. Our meat goes in next. Just trying to do it so that we can you can see. That's it. There we go. Sorry about my hands being in the way. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut it all up because this has got to brown off for about six minutes. So let's just cut it into little bits. that to cook just um, stir it occasionally just to make sure that the meat's browned on you know on all of it so we've still got how many minutes three minutes left so I'm just um, mixing all the meat up to make sure I might just turn it up a touch I mean if the meat's not cooked within six minutes you can give it a little longer it's not a problem okay then so our meat is nicely cooked, it's took, it has took six minutes. So the next stage is, we're going to pour the tomatoes. Into the frying pan. I'm going to do a little bit of honey. And, tablespoon of tomato puree. Let's give that a mix. This is a very healthy lasagna dish. It's got your vegetables in it. Right, so what we've got to do now then, we're going to leave this to cook for 20 minutes. So while this is cooking, we will um, start preparing the, the white sauce. So for the next step, and um, we're going to make the white sauce, and we're doing this one with um, creme fraiche. So I'm going to open up the creme fraiche. You can see, look, it's quite a solid mix into it. So I'm going to pour that in there. And what it says is to add, add a bit of water, because what we need to do, let's just bring this over here, we need to make this like into um, pourable to pour over our pasta. So I'm just going to add a bit. Just do it. Just do it slowly. Don't go and add too much water because you don't want it to be too runny. Lasagna. This is a bit of a, a different um, lasagna recipe because normally we actually add a layer of the bolognese and then a layer of the white sauce. But this one actually is, so you put your bolognese, your, your sheets, your bolognese, and then you put your sauce on top. So this is a, quite a different one. So it'll be quite interesting to know what this tastes like. So let's just leave that there a minute. 
and then we're going to grate some cheese because we're going to sprinkle the cheese on top of the lasagna. So, in fact, let me just take some off. Okay. So holding it down. So I just brought some nice strong cheese. It's a bit crumbly this is, but I have to be careful. I'll put that down there. I'm just going to get that cheese. So remembering the remaining cheese will need to go in a bag in the fridge. We've got a bag? Right, so it's going to go over here. Oh yeah. actually do the 800 grams um, of tomato so what I did I kept some back because I want to make this I don't want to make it too thick because it has got to go in the oven for another 20 minutes and what I've done I just add a little bit more to it and then this will cook in the oven so switch this off right so let's come over here just put that there a minute Let's get a ladle and layer the bottom. So I'll just spread it first. Just put a little bit more in. I don't know if there was a smaller one. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our sheets I'm going to place them over our sauce. So you probably just have to break one. That's it. So then we're going to take some more of our bolognese sauce and put that on the top. Just lay that over. There we go. Take some more, some more pasta. Layer it again. None do we? There we go. That's good. So then we'll just do one more layer of pasta. And then we'll add our uh, white sauce on top. Not like that, Not like that. There we go. So now we're going to take our white sauce, which was the creme fraiche. So what I've done, um, I added also added a little bit more water because it needs to be of like pouring consistency look. And it, it wasn't when I put the two um, teaspoon, tablespoons in. So I just added a little bit more water. So I'm going to pour this. cheese on top of the sauce so this is going to go in the oven for 20 minutes so just be, be careful I've preheated the oven so please be careful when you open the oven door 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the actual um, the actual thing on top of. Oh, take it to itself a minute. on top of our sauce so this is going to go in the oven for 20 minutes so I've got my oven gloves so when we open the oven please remember keep your face away so I'm going to put this on in this container here so if it does spill over it won't go into the oven it will sit on there which is far better to clean and this has been in the oven so what I need to do is be careful so I've got my oven gloves so shut it up and then we'll set the timer for 20 minutes and we'll come back. There we go, see you in 20 minutes. After 20 minutes we took it out of the oven and I actually checked it and it was quite hard in the middle, you know the actual pasta? So what I did, I put it back in for another seven. So we'll take it out now and we'll, uh, we'll see what it's like. It smells delicious. Oh, it's heavy. Right, so let's have a go. What I'm going to do is... Let's just... Oh, that's better. So... That's it. So that's going all the way through. Brilliant. It's just nice and crispy on the top where the cheese is melting. Just get the oven gloves as well because it's very, very hot. So I'm just going to take it from the side. So this actually serves, was it four to six, wasn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to, yeah, we'll do it into four and then we can cut it what portion you want but then we can put it again make sure it's not sticking session. Thank you. Bye.